This video is brought to you by Dev Mountain, a coding bootcamp that offers in-person and online courses in a variety of subjects, including web development, iOS development, user experience design, software quality assurance, and Salesforce development. For more information, consult the link in the description below. On with TensorFlow, and we're going to be showing how to build our neural net that we sort of alluded to in the previous video. And we're going to first come first is convert the integers in each of our data sets into words. So every one of the entries in our training data or our test data, as we saw, is a list of integers, and each of those integers corresponds to a word from some sort of a mapping. And what we're going to do is we're just going to build kind of a helper function that's going to allow us to decode that list of given integers into a list of English so that way we can actually read the review if we want. So this might be kind of useful to know how to convert back and forth and also kind of give a little bit more uh, of a sense of how these things are actually encoded. So what we're going to do first, I'm just going to get rid of this line or I'm going to comment it out. So I'm going to say uh, word underscore index, I'm going to define a variable, and I'm going to set this equal to imdb.get underscore word underscore index. So imdb is what we imported from Keras. This is allowing us to actually, or I should say as an object that we created from Keras, uh, the data set. And if we do dot get word index, this is a function that is provided to us from that object that we created on line eight there. And it's going to give, give us this index list. So it's a list of um, it's essentially a dictionary mapping words to an integer index value. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to add a couple new things to that word index, a couple of reserved keywords. Specifically, we're going to add something for padding, uh, for something to indicate the start of a review, and uh, another one to indicate whether or not uh, some element is unknown or if an element is unused. So we're going to create four different entries in addition to the ones that are already provided in the standard word index that we have here. We're going to provide four new entries where each of the entries are going to correspond to either padding, starting, unknown, or unused. Again, those are keywords or reserved words for indices that are going to be set to either 0, 1, 2, or 3 respectively. So we're going to be using those a little bit later when we actually build the neural net. As I mentioned before, all of the reviews, one of the issues when we're trying to build a neural network with the data that we have, all the reviews are different sizes. And generally, when it comes to building a neural net with data, we want to make sure that all the data sets are consistent, that they all have uh, consistently even lengths. And we're going to need to pad all of the reviews to make sure that actually happens. And we're going to talk a little bit more about how that's actually going to happen a little bit later in this video or in the next video, perhaps. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create those reserved keywords. So I'm going to say word underscore index is equal to, and this is going to be a bit of a list comprehension. I'm going to say K for the key, and I'm going to say V plus three. So I'm offsetting the key by three. I'm going to say four K comma V, so for the key value pair in word index dot items. Essentially what I'm going to do here is I'm just constructing uh, or I'm just kind of expanding the word index dictionary to allow for, in this case, four new entries. And what are those four new entries? Well, I want one for padding. So I'm going to say word underscore index, and then I'm going to say, uh, let's just do a less than sign, uppercase PAD for pad, I'll close that with a greater than sign, and then uh, this is going to be equal to a number. So in this case, we'll set that reserved keyword equal to the number zero. We're going to do something similar for the remaining three reserved keywords that we have as well. Let's do one for the start. That's going to indicate that this is the start of a review. We'll have another reserved keyword for the unknown. So if we don't know what the word is, we'll just go ahead and use that keyword. So there might be some word that somebody is using in a review. We might not know what that word is. So this is just going to indicate that. And then we'll have another one for unused. So if there's any unused words, we'll just use this keyword uh, with this reserved keyword for that. So then what we're going to do is we're going to use another more concise list comprehension, which is going to kind of flip the mapping. So the word index is a mapping of words to an integer index. What we want is we'll kind of want to flip it around and get an integer index to a word. So I'm going to say reverse word underscore index is equal to uh, DICT for dictionary. And then what I'm going to do it here is I'm going to open a square bracket for list, open a parentheses for tuple, and I'm going to have a tuple of value comma key pair. And I'm going to say for the key comma value pair inside of the word index the items. So I'm iterating through each of the items in uh, that word index. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm just reversing that mapping. So you can kind of see that what I'm doing is that I want to flip the uh, value key pair, which was previously a mapping from words to integers. I want to flip that from value key to key value. So this is going to be a reverse word index to what we had before. So then what I want to do is I want to create a function, which is just going to take a uh, text, or, or essentially it's going to take, um, you know, uh, 
an entry in our training or testing data, which is again, just a list of words, or sorry, a list of integers, I should say. And then what that's going to do is it's going to take in that list and it's going to return the English of what that integer index or what those integer uh, lists correspond to. So let me actually just write that function. This is also quite concise. So it's DEF, we'll say decode underscore review. This is going to take as input a text. Uh, we'll just call it text. It's really just going to be a list. And what we're going to return here is we're going to return, um, we're going to join by spaces, and we're going to say reverse word index. So that is the um, dictionary object that we created up above. We're going to get the element of that. So we'll get that and place it with a question mark for I in text. So let me just unpack a little bit what's going on here. We're going through each of the entries in the text list. So again, this is a list of integers. And we're checking if the uh, thing is actually present in the reverse word index that we defined up above here. So if it is present, then we'll go ahead and replace that integer with the corresponding word mapping. So for instance, if it's you know, some uh, number like 105, that might correspond to a specific word, and we'll map that that integer to the word. Otherwise, if we don't have that defined anywhere in here, we'll go ahead and just replace it with a question mark because we don't know what that is. So this decode review is going to take in that list of integers and give us the English that corresponds to that. So let's just go ahead and verify that actually works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, print out, let's take just the training data of zero. So again, this is the first entry in our training data. It's a list of integers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and say print decode review of train data of zero. So with any luck, what this should do, I'm just gonna go ahead and clear the terminal. This should uh, take that first entry in our training data set, list of integers, run it through that function, and then give us uh, the mapping of each of those integers to words. So this is exactly what this does here. So we have the reserved keyword at the start, which is indicating this is the start of a review. This is kind of just an interesting or helpful delimiter for us. And then it starts off with actually mapping each of those numbers that we saw before. So for instance, if we just go ahead and print out train data of zero, let's just go ahead and do that for uh, for consistency, or I should say for completeness. Let's just go ahead and run this again. So what we'll see here is we'll see the integer representation of the review, and then right below it, we'll see the actual text that corresponds to each of those integers. So we have one to indicate the start, that is the reserved keyword for the uh, start of that review, and then 14. The number 14 in this case maps to the word this. The number 22 in this case maps to the word film, and so on. So we've successfully mapped each of those integers to their corresponding English counterpart from that word mapping that is used as part of this, um, you know, Keras data set. So that's all I really wanted to do in this video. This is just kind of diving a little bit more uh, deeply into understanding this data and kind of uh, dealing with how to, I guess, kind of make sense of it. The next couple of videos, what we're going to be doing, or I should say the next video, we're going to be actually preparing the data. So we're actually going to take what we have here, the integer representations of all of those reviews, and we're going to be preparing them in a way that we can actually feed them into a neural net and do something interesting with them using TensorFlow. So that's going to be the next video, and I'll see you then.